Well, that didn't take long. Um, not in the way I thought it would. But, um, Spidey's back. Let's discuss. So, Spider-Man's back in the MCU. Um, big surprise to me and to a lot of other people. But when I really look at it, and, and I watched the Quarterings video on this, and I realized, yeah, you know, there's, there's a good reason why Spidey's back. The MCU makes an obscene amount of money for Marvel Disney. I mean, an obscene amount of money. And I think Sony realized that Spider-Man, without being a part of the MCU, was either not going to make as much money or wasn't going to do very do very well in theaters. That alone that a Spider-Man alone without the other members of the Avengers might flop. Sony has done their own Spider-Man several times in the past and they've had off and on success. They had Andrew Garfield, they had Tobey Maguire before. The Andrew Garfield Spider-Man wasn't as good as to Tobey Maguire. I think the very first Spider-Man uh, with Tobey Maguire, I think, was probably one of their better Spider-Man films. And Andrew Garfield was... Eh, he was okay. But uh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland has so far has been the best Spider-Man so far, and he's a character that resonates with people, because he's, he's just a kid. You know, he's a kid out of his element, you know, and pe people just like him. He's just likable. Just, just totally likable. So, basically the almighty dollar basically decided the fate of Spider-Man in the MCU. And so, Marvel Disney and Sony hammering out a deal. They're not talking about uh, what all the details of this deal are. They they did try to do a 50/50 split of you know the 50/50 uh, split of paying for movie productions with Spider-Man in it, and that sort of that's what caused the first breakup to begin with. And so, they've got some new, de new deal going on, and they haven't been talking about exactly what's in this deal. Uh, what are the... What are the terms? You know, who pays for what? Because both Sony and Marvel Disney will be paying for the production of these films. At least, uh, from what I know of at this time, at least one more one more movie with Spider-Man in it and possibly more coming which is no big surprise there because as I said these movies make an obscene amount of money they are making billions off of them I mean Endgame Endgame defeated the almighty Avatar so you know this this is going to be uh, a huge money maker for Sony, and it's definitely a huge money maker for Marvel Disney. And the MCU needs Spider-Man. It's not the other way around. It's not Spider-Man needs the MCU. The MCU needs Spider-Man. We need Spider-Man in these stories. Spider-Man does so much better when paired off with other characters. And, and there was some... There was some speculation of a Spider-Man Captain Marvel movie that maybe maybe having Spider-Man and Captain Marvel might humanize her character a little and make her less of a whatever she was might humanize her a little um that might be interesting to see uh, if they can get past the whole SJW side of it, especially with Tom Holland. I don't know. It might work. Uh, 
and it would be interesting to see him paired off of uh, other members of the Avengers that are still around. You know, there there's still plenty of characters, and they're bringing in some new characters too into the MCU. Ones that haven't been, um, ones that haven't been seen in the uh, in movie form before. And of course, there's the X Men and the Fantastic Four. Now, Spider Man has been paired off with the X Men many times in the comics. Uh, he's been paired off with. Deadpool? A Spider-Man Deadpool would be freaking awesome. It would be completely awesome with Spider-Man Deadpool. Even if it's not rated R, even if they did a PG-13 Spider-Man Deadpool movie, it would still be freaking awesome. You cannot deny that. And and Spider-Man's been paired up with the X-Men before. He's not technically a mutant, he's a mutate. But, uh, he's been paired off with them before in comics, so that would be an interesting thing to see. I think he's also been, I think he was also paired off with, uh, the Fantastic Four at some point. And that, we're definitely going to be getting a Fantastic Four movie. An MCU version of the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four done correctly. For once. Can't wait to see that. I grew up with the Fantastic Four cartoons way back in the day, and you know, I, I, I would very much like to see them come back, but I want to see more of Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the MCU, because Homecoming and Far From Home were like, like masterpieces compared to the other Spider-Man films that were produced by Sony. These were masterpieces, and we need more. We need more of that. We need more Spidey in the MCU, and we're apparently going to get it. Oh, I'm glad that they finally... They finally came to some kind of agreement. Whatever that agreement is, they'll probably make some kind of... Official statement, um, saying exactly what the deal might be, maybe, it's possible they may never release what the actual deal is, uh, what the conditions are, we'll, we'll probably never know. It, it might come out in an earnings call. It might come out then, but who knows, I mean... Who really cares? I mean, Spidey's back. So, that's the one thing that really matters. Is Spidey's back. I've been Mike the Zorch. See you guys later. Some Zorch Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at Zorch Central colon E.